in the car, man. It's been a while. It's been a while. I appreciate all the subscribers and stuff. I appreciate y'all, man. All, all of y'all. Even though we ain't, we ain't in the thousands and millions yet, the content is in the, th you know what I'm saying? The content is good enough, so. I don't know why you still got break lights on. But, yo, we here, man. We in the building. And it's, it's been a while, so let's get into it. All right, so today, this one for the ladies. I like helping the ladies out because the ladies didn't have guidance from their mom or their dad. And so, <clears throat> being that they didn't have that guidance, they don't know what to do. So, I'm going to show the ladies what to do. I'm going to help the ladies out. So, here you go, ladies. Always ask a man. So, what are you looking for? Always ask a man what he's looking for. Because, see, this is the thing, ladies. Most men are indirect. <clears throat> Most men are not intentional. Trust me, I know. Don't worry about how I know. Just look outside. Most men are not intentional. So, most men are not direct and upfront. Most men, they might be direct in their career. Or they might be direct in other aspects of life, but they're not direct in their approach and in their dealings with women. Most men are not direct in their approach and dealings with women. Meaning if a man wants casual sex, he's not going to say that. He's going to fake a relationship just to have sex with you. Yeah, if he want casual, short-term, non-monogamous sex, he's not going to say that. He's just going to fake a relationship or fake be your boyfriend so he can get the sex. Same thing with if he wants a relationship. He's not going to tell you. He's just going to go with the flow. And y'all just going to poof and be in a relationship. So, ladies, I'm telling y'all this. And I'm making this video for y'all so y'all can protect yourselves against these indirect, lame-ass men. Or boys. They little boys. And if you like them indirect little boys, then... This video not for you, but if you want to protect yourself and be a woman of wisdom, this is the video for you. So, asking a man, what are you looking for within the first two times of y'all talking is important. This for the ladies that don't want to deal with these, because you got some ladies out here that want to deal with elite men. They don't want to deal with no clowns. They don't want to deal with no fucking fools. They don't want to deal with no fucking idiots. I like that. So we're going to help y'all out. Because y'all, them ladies be wanting to know where the knowledge is. And I give you, I give you that. I'm giving you that right now. And I, I'm glad that you're looking for the knowledge. Because that lets me know that you may not have had the guidance. But you're looking for it. And I can relate. I was the same exact way. Was looking for the guidance. But couldn't really come across any other than me reading my Bible. So this is the knowledge. So ladies... Ask a man, what are you looking for? Ask him that. Because let me tell you something. People got all these theories about why stuff don't be working. I got real life and facts. I don't care about no theories and no imaginary situations and the imaginary answers. I don't care about that shit. I got real life for y'all motherfucking answers. I got real life. You know what, bro? Let me just get over because these niggas be getting in the fucking way. Like, I just... All they want to do is get in the fucking way. But, um... You know... I got real life for y'all. So, ladies, ask a man... Say, what are you looking for? If you out here looking for... Ladies, if you looking for a, a, a husband or a fiancé or a direct man... Ask him what he's looking for. You know why? When you ask a man, so what are you looking for? It protects you. It protects you because most men don't know what they're looking for. Ladies, you can't take a man serious if you ask him, okay, so what are you looking for? He, well, you know, uh, uh, you know, just, I ain't looking for nothing. Ain't wrong. Stupid. Stupid, stupid. 
That's stupid. The fuck you mean you're not looking for something? You're a man. You're supposed to be looking for something, you idiot. Next, he's out of here. So what are you looking for? Oh, you know, just, uh, you know, looking for friends or you know, just looking for a relationship. And wrong. Next. Fuck. The, what you, how you looking for a relationship? This just a waste of time. This just is stupid. Yeah, we're in a we're in a relationship. Yeah, we uh came to a verbal agreement that we're gonna man shut the fuck. I'm not gonna fuck about no relationship. You single? The fuck? You single? You either single or married. Nothing else matters. So you know, nah, man. Nope. So you already got the the the, the men that's like, oh, I don't want anything. You got them out the way. You got the men that's like, oh, cause, oh, we can be friends. We can, we can, we, we, we be in a relationship. They don't know what they want. They don't know what they want. Now, ladies, if you if you want a man that don't know what he want, then fine. But no, nah, we don't do that. We too y'all too valuable. So we got we getting men out the way, and then also, so yeah, so so we got those kind of men out the way. The men that said they weren't looking for nothing or the men that said, you know, whatever. <clears throat> we got them out the way. So that's, that's the goal here. It's a numbers game. We are getting men out the way. We are not dealing with men that want to waste time or who are unsure of themselves. We dealing with men that know what they want. We dealing with men that are direct and upfront in their intentions. These, oh no, whatever you looking for. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not dealing with that. Cause that's y'all dealt with them kind of niggas far too long. Or if you've never dealt with one of them dudes, see? Well, get the fuck out the way, bro. Cause y'all niggas stay cracking windshields, bro. But um Yeah, we getting them out the way. So ladies, ask these men, what are you looking for? Don't say, don't ask a man, so what do you want? Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, what are we doing? Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm. Simple. Ask ask that man, what are you looking for? And e even in the way how he answers that question, even how he answers it, does he be like, uh, well, you know, uh, or is he like, what am I looking for? A wife? Which one sounds like which one sounds like certainty? Which one sounds like somebody that knows what the fuck they want? Somebody, oh, uh, well, you know, uh, it, it don't matter. I ain't looking for nothing. Nah, man. Nah. Get the fuck out of here, man. You a man not looking for nothing. You're not a man. You a boy. You a boy. Get the fuck out of my face. That's, they lucky I want a woman. <laughs> I would have been telling motherfucker, get the fuck out of my face, man. You bum. Like, for real, bro. Because as a man, you need to be held to a certain standard. You need to know what the fuck you want. Stop being so indecisive. You need to be certain. You need to be direct and upfront. Shit. You need to be direct and upfront. Too many indirect. I don't know what I want. We can be friends. I ain't looking for nothing, ass motherfuckers. That shit is stupid. Teacher, y'all. This, this. The man can learn something from this too, fellas. The man can certain can learn something from this too. Because yeah, the man can learn something from this. Because what happens is men be talking that shit and they, they think it's cool because they still get some pussy. Nah, nah. I'm, t I'm teaching the ladies how to avoid y'all indecisive, uncertain asses, man. Now, ladies, when a man answers your question, what he looking for, if he say, oh, I ain't looking for nothing, or, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't wanna, we, we can be whatever, you know, he can say, we can be friends, or we can start off with friends first, or, you know, I'm just looking for somebody I can, you know, man be like, I'm just looking for somebody I can chill with, you know, build with, all that stupid shit. Stupid shit, that shit dumb as hell. I wish my daughter, I think it's never, I think it's 
I ain't gonna say nothing cause then if I'm gonna say something, then somebody gonna be hating on me like, oh, well, you never know. So I'm not gonna say nothing, but I feel bad for y'all <laughs> people that got y'all daughters entertaining these. Oh, I don't want nothing. That's trash. Entertaining trash. We don't entertain trash over here, ladies. Don't entertain. He don't deserve your number. Don't give him your number. You know why? Cause like if you if you if you messing with a trash dude. The elite women already turned him down. <laughs> he, an elite woman asked her, what are you looking for? Oh, you yeah, next. No. Nah. Because you know why? She's looking for a husband. That's why I like when women are looking for husbands. Because they let you know that man's serious. He's serious. A man that's ready to be a husband is a, is a serious man worthy of respect. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Hey, dang. You can't drive. A uh, man that's ready to get married is serious. I don't want to hear no stupid shit about, well, you know, it's a piece of paper. Oh, well, you know, married men still a cheat. I, mean, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. At least he married. I don't give a fuck. He did that much. Because you got these little ass boys out here talking about, so, uh, yeah, bro, you know, I'm not looking for nothing. Get the fuck out here, man. Stupid ass shit. Fuck you mean you're not looking for nothing? You fucking clown? Get the fuck out my... I, man, what? I wish I would be somewhere, people watching, and a man tell a woman, I'm going to say, man, you, man, uh, he just said he won't look for nothing. Get the fuck out of his face. Don't waste your time with this. Let him be a, let him figure out being a man first, then he can get some pussy. Get over it. You know what? I don't know what these niggas is doing, bro. I don't know what these niggas is doing. Y'all wait till the last minute to fucking get on the highway, bro. Get on the highway. Stop playing with it. Shit. Y'all wait till the exit run out, yo. Get on the fucking highway, man. Anyway. Yeah, man. Ladies, this has been a very good video. Ask a man in the first and second. Don't don't try to wait and figure out shit. And see, no, man. Ask that man, what are you looking for? Off bat. It forces him to be direct because he should have already told you what he was looking for, but men are pussy. Most men are pussy because they're indirect. Now, I know I've been indirect, but see, my flaw was I was direct, but I wasn't aware, I wasn't aware that people would challenge your directness. I'm like, bro, I just told you what I wanted, and you're going to challenge me, and I, I, I get it. And they can even indirectly challenge you, and then that's how you can do situations where, you know, you tell a woman, Oh well, I wasn't looking for a relationship. Oh you well, people and then and then what do you do with your friends? Uh, well he did tell you. So you should have left his ass alone, but you couldn't. And he should have left you alone, but he couldn't. So it's, it, you know it happens. But ladies, I'm trying to tell y'all. Trying to tell y'all ladies, ask a man. Hey say, say, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? Ask him that. Ask that man, what is he looking for? Because it's going to force him. It's going to force him to be a man and be intentional. We're going to teach y'all intentional. If you are, if you're a man that's not intentional, you're a little boy. You're a little boy. And you don't, you don't deserve pussy. You don't deserve sex. And you don't deserve a woman. I said it. Yeah, I fucking said it. Unintentional men don't deserve pussy they don't deserve women i said it because everybody wants to talk well you don't you mean to tell me i don't deserve love or i don't deserve you. no you don't you don't deserve that shit because you're being a bitch you're being a bitch you're a bitch an uncertain man a double-minded man is a bitch you bitch you get pussy when you stop being a bitch and stop displaying bitch ass tendencies. We're gonna make we're gonna make these women stop giving y'all pussy, man. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make these women stop giving y'all pussy. Cause they're gonna listen to me and wise up. Now these other women that's not gonna wise up, they're gonna they gonna be fucking these idiots, and that's okay. That's not my problem. I'm concerned about the women that's using their brains and and, and 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 not fucking these clowns. We're gonna help y'all ladies. This is helpful advice. I'm gonna save somebody's life with this with this shit. It's a 15 minute video, man. I ain't made one of these in a while, but it's it's been a while, man. It's some real shit. Ladies, ask that man what he looking for. Say, what are you looking for? Because if he was direct, he would have told you, but you know, these men ain't direct. They trash. They fucking trash. So.
damn, making a video drain the fuck out your battery. So yeah, ladies, that's a that's a this could be lit. This is lit. This is lit. I see y'all later. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Larry for the cut. Got me looking sexy, bro. If I gotta go hard on the vid, I'm gonna make it look sexy. Y'all know nothing about that.